Hello and welcome to the Aidam Risala update poll talk. Over the last few days, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has shifted gears. This is what a large number of political observers of this country are saying, and he has gone back to his so-called Hindutva Ugra Roop of 2002 vintage, where the Gujarat Assembly elections were presided by. carnage of muslims in large numbers across the state now over the last few days the campaign thrust that modi has is about how the congress manifesto and how the india alliance is favoring muslims especially targeting hindu communities the marginalized communities of dalits and backward caste now to discuss this situation this whole campaign and its impact we have one of the legendary political theorists who has devoted his entire life to addressing issues of dalit communities other backward caste communities and marginalized communities in general kancha ilaya shepherd and say yes up welcome to the idam prasala update poll talk thank you thank you i have made the in my profession itself i have given you the very first question modi he is campaigning across the country in the last few days he has been saying that the hindus are being targeted by the congress manifesto especially the dalits and backward caste as somebody who has studied these rights and the privileges and uh, the issues of dalits and backward caste all your life also marginal all sections of marginalized communities including the muslims what is your take on this you know i think uh, prime minister narendra modi is uh, seriously shaken because he thinks that he should become third time prime minister rss has uh, given up all its powers to him and so on but when the congress manifesto is talking about caste census removal of 50% cap to the reservation imposed by the supreme court and then transfer of 1 lakh rupees for poor women who come in the below poverty line level and 1 lakh ru- rupees to unemployed for a year during the apprenticeship and work out their uh, placement in different thing Now, how does it go to Muslims? What is the Muslim population? Yeah, that is something which you should enlighten us because you have studied. <laughs> no. How does it all your life? How does it go through? I mean, how does the Prime Minister of India can convince uh, the Shodra OBC mass, which you, he himself was uh, an OBC saying? Then what is the percent of uh, OBC Shodra OBCs? Absolutely less than fifty percent. now within them easily 25 to 30% are poorest of the poor and if the money transfer to women one lakh goes to them uh the biggest amount will go to shudra obcs then what is the number of dalits the number of dalits as per the recent data is 17% national average okay So, among them, sixty percent are below the poverty, sixty to seventy, in fact. So, most of the Dalits will be covered in that, both unemployment thing, and the women are getting one lakh. There are other schemes that Congress has been talking about. Now, tribals, tribals as of now are seven percent, right? Now you add fifty, fifty, seventy, seven percent. Now what is the Muslim percent? Muslim percentage in All India Census itself fourteen percent. Now within fourteen percent there is a Muslim rich community. Right. Muslims are more urbanized than Muslims are. uh you know foreign educated indian educated 
There are three universities. But there, are, there must be only a small percentage of the Muslim community because the Sachar Commission report has revealed how large sections. No, no, large section of them are poor. Yeah. But the point is, there is also a feudal community within them. Right. There, there, because the Muslims were ruler for quite some time. So even assuming. In the entire money that Congress wants to transfer from budget to rural people, mm. uh, OBCs, uh, Sudra, Pakas, and poor, even Brahmins, <coughs> Anyas, Karastas, Katris, Kshatriyas will also get. If they are below poverty line, they too will get it now. Okay. So, and their youth also will get money. Right. Now, given this, I think the share of the Muslims would be roughly about around 12 to 11 percent. Yeah. Then he's saying, you know, those who produce more children. <laughs> this, this rhetoric, if the, if the Muslim world understands this, uh, it is a problem for the nation. You are creating an unnecessary problem for the nation from the Muslim world. You know, you the Prime Minister assumes that the Middle Eastern countries, Dubai, uh, uh, you know, Saudi Arabia, and then other uh, rich Muslim countries are respecting it. But when you constantly attack, attack Muslims as only uh, 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 procreation missions, child procreation missions, the whole Muslim world, world get, will get hurt with that. I don't know how a prime minister, uh, if you talk like that, there is a danger of the country getting, you know, uh, 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 backlog from the Muslim world. But if you look at the Narendra Modi's track record, you would see that you know, in domestic politics, he has consistently advocated a Hindutva, aggressive Hindutva policy. But in spite of that, uh, very many Muslim countries have kind of uh, given him a uh, red carpet welcome. No, no. See, you look at that statement on profit. The whole Muslim world reacted. The lady who spoke about the prophet in uh, 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 in the TV, she is remote from BJP, right? And then they appeal to the Muslim world, no, we are not against. So this population issue also like that. Okay. You are you are uh, telling the Muslim world that you are uh, ch child producing the missions. You are not talking about just. It is not a culture of just Indian Muslims. It is a culture of fifty six countries, and now. Indian Muslims are better in adopting family planning because of our yeah. own thing. Yeah. So my point is, he could not convince his party, Brahmins, Banyas, Kayastas, Khatris, and also his supporting, uh, uh, you know, Hindutva industry. There is a communalized capital now which is supporting whatever they think. Narendra Modi implements. Actually, many think that the power is in the hands of Narendra Modi and BJP. No. After 2014, it shifted completely to Gujarati, Bombay, top industrial communalized capital. See, in a democracy, capital is communalized. Then, the danger is more for Shudra, farmers, agriculture, OBCs, Dalits and Adivasis. Muslims can fight their battle. They think that if a lot of attacks are done on Muslims, what will happen to to Muslim world? Will Muslim world keep quiet? But if you, you oppress the OBCs, Dalits and the Adivasis, there are no other countries to support us. See, Brahmins are spread all over the world. Banyas have big build. 46 Top industries in the hands of Banyas, 42% of software industries in the hands of Brahmins. Now there are Kayasas, Katris, and you know, uh, uh, Patel, uh, this uh, Kshatriyas, and so on. But where is the Shudra industry? As Rahul himself said, that 90% of the agrarian production mass, you have not given anything last 10 years. You are an OBC Prime Minister, you have been com consistently campaigning about. Suddenly you say that there are only two castes. But if there are only two castes, wh where is your caste? 
your OBC caste, is it a rich caste, is it a poor caste, obviously it should be a Gujarati rich caste. Right. Then why do you ca ca carry on your OBC certificate? When you are rich, you don't have to carry on the OBC certificate. So there is a problem. I think now the BJP is fully rattled with the Congress manifest. See, Congress manifesto for the first time, caste-based census issue and 50% issue along with class question right. has taken up never in its history from 1950. I remember you also been as a political theorist, you have also been a critic of the Congress in the past. For a long time. Yeah, yeah. I was a critic of Nehru, I was a critic of Gandhi. I was first a Marxist and, uh, you know, a Maoist kind of a person. But then Ambedkar, Pule, Periyar, this thought has changed us. You know, Savitri Bhai has opened our eyes in, to such an extent that unless you we fight for women equality, democracy doesn't become anything in India. So the question is, what I have realized is, Rahul, Having come from the same dynasty, he is a talking, right? Nehru, Indira Gandhi, uh, Rajiv Gandhi, and Sonia Gandhi, and now. But, though Indira Gandhi's emergency, we all fought. We all as students fought. It is not Narendra Modi or RSS people who right. fought against. We all fought. Right. And many of my friends were killed in uh, encounters so-called encounters in 1975 from Osmania University. See, I fought the emergency with all my might. The question is not that. But Indira Gandhi has shifted the class struggle part with the 1971 election. Garibi Atau and uh, abolition of PV Padre. Land reforms. Yeah. And then nationalization. nationalization of the banks. Today I am saying Congress manifesto is short of one very important thing which I have been talking about. De privatization of school education. And English educa school education in government sector across the country. Right. In the in the in the whether it is Hindi, Telugu, Marathi. Only one subject should be studied like Andhra Pradesh. So once school education in no democracy is in the private sector. Now look at the, the uh, companies that support Narendra Modi are opening all top English medium schools. Dhirubhai Ambani school which uh, charges for LKG 7 lakh rupees and uh, 12 lakh rupees for 8 to 10 and then 15 lakhs from 11th and 12th, you are Ashoka University, Amethi, they are all private English medium. And they converted all Central University into Hindi University. Now, now you know, Hindi is a full right. language. So the problem is, one step, solid step, with all the resistance in Congress. Rahul has taken up as a mission. See, Anand Sharma wrote a very strong letter against, against uh, uh, cost census and 50%. I wrote an article in in Wire that what are you saying? Congress has never recognized identity politics. A Muslim minority identity issue was all through yeah. with Congress. Yeah. And later on, SCST issues were wound up. Yeah. So what was the what bank of Congress? Muslims? Upper caste? SCSTs, Shudra OBCs were abandoned. Yeah. Therefore, they went and they started. Smaller, smaller, smaller they, 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 they started their own regional parties after 1990 mental movement. Yeah. So now Rahul has taken up this. Therefore, today, look at the revolutionary a uh, uh, change in the electoral alliances in UP and Bihar. He, India Alliance has completely alliances without any problem. Yeah. Samajwadi Party and Yeah, Samajwadi Party has come. Yeah. And, that and because because Rahul is uh, you know allowing give and take. 
and the shudra parties will realize that once congress takes up the abolition of caste question abolish the and expansion of reservation and over a period of time common education school education college education can be in private to some extent in unlike america europe but once school education comes like that every child will be english medium up to 12th grade child marriage marriages will be now the big business the industrialists are afraid of congress manifest see that is the problem for modi they think that the budget economy during bda bjp period 80% has gone to big contract right these big contracts they have laid down roads very you know how sustainable those roads we do know and they are building huge uh, airports they are building uh, this uh, bharat uh, trains you know typical trains now he is talking about fast are what country you are living in is the country meant for only brahman banya kaista you know rich people who travel within 2 hours from delhi to ahmedabad what about the poor people now this new trains you know that what bar vande bharat poor people cannot get into the, those trains yeah, yeah. because of the fr- price because of the ticket price you are establishing trains for rich your flights are always for rich mm. and you are expanding the aero, a, a, a airport uh, infrastructure in the private sector completely selling up everything and this manifesto will again push back into social justice pattern analogy you have been talking about the theoretical percepts of the congress manifesto and you say that you no know, it has rattled the bjp at narendra modi but do you actually see a uh, uh, kind of signs from the ground where where this manifesto is percolating and people are reacting to it no take for example they have put a very radical manifestos in karnataka and telangana and a campaign was done by local leaders ghar ghar the national manifest has to be taken to every house who will have to do it congress workers now unfortunately other congress leaders are not writing about it not speaking about it why only rahul gandhi and priyanka gandhi go and well, not only really, maybe perhaps you know what i see in the in the heartland is that perhaps the allies samajwadi party and rashtriya janata dal they are seeking taking these messages to the people along with the, more than the no, no, no. my point is see for this uh, congress manifesto brahmins banias kaistas khatris in the western indian and khatriyas are opposed wherever they are imagine if anand sharma were to be an obc hmm. would he have written that letter he said you know he called me he said kacha you know why did you write like that you uh, b- b- attack my my caste also my personal thing uh, my birth in a brahmin family is an accident i told him your birth in a brahmin family is a positive accident <laughs> my birth in a shepherd family is a horrible negative accident the whole generations we suffered untouchable suffered much more so you don't recognize this accident only so they don't want rahul to take up this caste census they don't even want even english medium in government school right. the same people educate their children in international english are it is hypocrisy is being understood by shudra dalit obcs more and more now you know muslims don't raise these questions muslims don't ask these questions right so they, therefore they don't have any problem with but talking about minority minority they don't share if the obc is come so, tomorrow so tomorrow if the congress forms the government 50% seats cabinet seats will have to go to obc shudras then this uh, you know upper caste leaders uh, will roll will get reduced they are worried so i point it, it, according to you the the actual problem that bjp and the modi face at this point of time is the churning in the hindu communities especially among the backward caste and dalits no i don't call them hindus what is hinduism with shudras and obcs can they become priest in ram temple 
where Narendra Modi, you are an OBC, you could go and open the temple. But why not you start a, a school to train Shudra, Dalit, OBC, uh, those who believe in Hinduism as priests? Why did you put a Brahmin priest there? He's a young boy, huh? You put a Brahmin there. Mm. The same young boy, why a OBC? You, OBC Prime Minister can open. Why not OBC become a priest? Yeah, yeah. So the all Brahmins will oppose. So temple should be under your control. In fact, uh, the Dalit, uh, the Adivasi pr uh, president of India was not even allowed to enter the temple. And also, the, even when you lay the foundation stone for a uh, new parliament, COVID, uh, COVID, was not in, COVID was not invited. Inaugural, uh, 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 Murmu was not inaugurated. There you, as this is, this doesn't work. Now people are, within BJP, RSS, OBCs and Dalits are very angry, very upset. No, their families are there, no. What is their place? You have built such a Ram temple. That is the reason why I am saying, now we have only one alternative. We must build a bigger temple for Ambedkar in Mau. Ambedkar Lala. Would there build a massive temple of global standard? There should be millions should go there. And we, our religious book is Indian constitution. And our priest will read that book only in English, in suit and book. No semi-naked body. Okay. So we'll bring a spiritual revolution. Right, right. Spiritual revolution. Now, God is necessary. But you, you made a king, king God. Right? Rama was a king. Yeah. You made a God. Buddha was a king, he became a god. Ambedkar is better, bigger god for us. He gave the whole system change. He, he shifted the history of India into a positive. I want all Indians start collecting bricks and build the biggest dream temple in Mao where God. Do you think that this election will mark a beginning to fulfill a big project? Oh yes, this election as began a social revolution. And I am glad a Nehru family member has come with us. You know, I have been expecting Modi to do this. But Modi is only helping to be the big industries. And uh, he has not given anything to OBCs. You are an OBC Prime Minister. What is the revolutionary step you took for OBCs? You are going all around the temples and you may become tomorrow a saint somewhere after you give up the prime minister. But uh, I, I don't want to do that. I want my children to learn English and fight with this so the, the upper caste wherever they are. Why not? I mean, this country is made of our labor. This country, we, our people, till. And they say, cow is our Gomata. What about buffalo? Buffalo is our greatest buffalo mata. See, you say yes, amount of milk. You drink its milk because if it is black anyone, you, you humiliate it. There is no history for us. I mean, I'm glad Rahul Gandhi said 90% people don't have history. Right. And buffalo doesn't have history. No, I, I was the first person to bring buffalo into the political domain, domain. buffalo nationalism. The question is, now Narendra Modi is corner. Now, I think, you know, Brahmins and Banyas and, uh, not Banyas perhaps, Brahmins in BJP RSS are very happy for cornering their own Prime Minister. Because they don't want him to do this kind of thing. So now Rahul Gandhi has taken up. See, he has been attacking Rahul Gandhi as a dynastic person. And then uh, Rama is also a dynasty leader. You want India's name to be? Bharat. Are it is the name of a king. Right. How can you name it? India is not the name of a king. India is not a name of a king. Right? So Narendra Modi says, Diana, you gave all seats to your own family, lots of who, who is uh, uh, Rajasthan area chief minister? That lady? She was not a Raja queen. And who is uh, Madhya Pradesh uh, wing family? That uh, that boy, you know, uh, who changed from Congress. Jodhraitya Sindhya. Sindhya. Where, where did he come from? And in all BJP, RSS is a dynastic organization. Only Brahmin, 
it's for lifetime lifetime now why do you fight that you are an obc then narendra modi become sar sanchalak of rss you became prime minister because of ambedkar's constitution not because of manudar majas not because of veda so don't you understand our fear no people expected from narendra modi to take up the shudra obc cars first time an obc prime minister on his own who came people voted for him so now rahul gandhi has taken up the cars the pods he is now saying it is my mission i will support anyway that's a lady <coughs> we are just getting into the second phase of voting in this long and laborious elections that we are going to have in this country and of course you have also highlighted the larger vision of the dalit community where you want to uh, oh, i am not representing dalit but in telo yeah the whole shudra community yeah. see in tamil nadu when dmk came when in up samajwadi bihar uh, rjd or jd or in you know telugu desham or maharashtra uh, uh, national congress all these are shudra party and with the present manifest the shudra parties will have to come with congress right and over a period of merge with it shudras will become prime ministers here obcs that will become prime ministers here because congress has earlier not given that approach because it's it's its own approach was different yeah. the old leaders were so now i'm glad an young leader like rahul gandhi has taken up the cause of social revolution after vp singh vp singh as a prime minister having come from kshatriya family as stood for implementation of mandal ka he is also neglected yeah. he is also ignored but we don't forget him so congress does not recognize him even now but i don't forget him, what he has fought for so therefore this election is going to be a new trend election uh my guess is congress will definitely make a far headway in this election and its impact on the future is going to be mass anyway let us see how things develop for the next few weeks when we have this long election thank you very much for thank spending you. time with the item and the rasala update thank you and uh, we look forward to having more conversations with you because you are so knowledgeable about these issues one of the uh, uh top most political theorists on this issue in this country thank you very much for spending time thank you all the best yeah